Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to work on my Gypsy Girl I did yesterday. Uh, I got another Gypsy Girl coming up um, because I really didn't start this one out as a Gypsy Girl. It just kind of went that way. But I have another one I'm going to be doing. But for now, I'm going to do this canvas. I'm going to be using all Deco Art products and I will have them all listed down below and I hope you will try them out. Um, I just found out that Joann's is starting to sell <clears throat> the Deco Art uh, fluid acrylics and some other product, their sprays and everything. So check out Joanne Fabrics for their uh, items, or you can check out Deco Art at decoart.com. I love their stuff, and that is all I'm going to say about that. So I have this canvas. It's just a 9 by 11. What is it? Uh, 9 by 12. So close, but yet so far. 9 by 12. And all I'm going to do is start mixed media in it up. Um, I'm going to do a, a very uh, muted background almost um, in darker colors, like browns and reds and that kind of thing. A little bit of glitter maybe. I don't know. But first I'm going to, I wanted to lay some color down. So I'm going to use the burgundy color first. And let's shake it first. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And I'm just going to do plops here and there. I don't care starting out doing um, dark backgrounds. Oh, I love this color. This color in a lipstick would just make my heart sing. Um, you know, you can always lighten up your backgrounds and change them if you don't want them. I do that all the time because you never know where your head, you know, when you're doing it. So I want to start with a dark color. I want to make sure I get these edges on the outside. I'm going to use a little bit of brown matter, it's called, M-A-D-D-E-R. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Got a nice shine going there. Brown matter. And I'm just going to put, I don't know, I've not used this color before. It doesn't look brown to me, but I guess it's, oh, lipstick of that color would be great too. All right, I don't want to stick too much in the middle because I'm going to waste paint as I am uh, going to put my little girl there somewhere. And if you want your paint to go a little bit further, just wet your brush because we're just doing a wash. Look at that. I forgot to move my camera up. I'm going to do some painting because we're just doing a wash. And it all comes out in the wash. Look at that. And even though we watered it down, it still stayed true to the color. And it's a very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these paper. Got this from um, in my from Mary in my uh, random act of kindness that she sent me. So wonderful. So I'm going to take one of these, and I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going for it. So I'm just going to lay this down. Okay, it did some texture. I'm trying to get this lace texture down because the paint is water soluble. And, you know, it comes up, well, it's wet, I should say, not water soluble because the paint is permanent. Uh, hello. But I'm trying to get some of this texture in at the same time getting paint on this because you know, it, uh, let's do it this way. It helps color that for when I want to use it. Okay. Oh, well, there's two pieces now. All right. Okay. You can kind of see where my big fingers, so I'll just kind of go like this because it's a little wet still. is isn't going to matter too much, but I want more texture here. Don't quite know why it's not doing it, but it's doing it enough. It's it's what I want. Just want it lifted up some places. Yeah, right here. All right. And there. That's it. See, we did texture without even having to have anything fancy. Use a paper towel. I'm using that, and in the paper towel, we have the same type thing. 
wear rag, but the paper towel, once you get all that delicious color on it, the same as the doily or a coffee uh, filter, you're starting to paint it and it's getting, you know, it's getting some paint on it. So you're doing double duty. I am cheap. All right. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm cheap and I don't like, and I'm going to leave my fingerprints in there because I think it adds just a little something, something. Um, but I am a little bit cheap when it comes to supplies and all, and I don't like wasting. And I like to use products for more than one thing because I think nowadays you have to, there are such wonderful products out there. And if you spend money on products, you know, you want to kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck. So always try and experiment with what you're doing. Okay. So that is our backgrounds so far. I'm going to move these. So these don't get ruined. And then I'm going to take <clears throat> a stencil from, oops, come here, buddy. From Americana mixed media stencil. I'm going to show you guys, I have my stencils hung up and I'm still working on it. I'm getting my room there. I'm very excited. Um, a little bit more, you know, organized for myself and I hung up all my stencils and I'm very, very excited. So I am going to do a little, a little, uh, video on that, but this is mixed media doily and I'm going to save this cause I use it to hang up. But if you don't have it, you can still hang up your uh, stencils, but look how cool this is. All right. Now I know that I don't want to really waste too much paint or spray or anything in the middle there because I'm not going to be putting, um, yeah, I'm going to be putting her rather in it. Right. So I don't necessarily want to do that, but what I do want to do is get some of this texture. So I'm just going to kind of do, you know, kind of keep it, on there, but not, I'm not going to go over here too much. I just don't want to waste the product, but I mean, it's cheap enough if you, you know, you want to do that kind of thing. Um, if you want to use it, but you know what I forgot is my spray. Let me grab my sprays. Where are my sprays? Where are my sprays? Hmm. 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 Oh, they're right in front of me. I want black. I want, uh, what color are you? cyan and red and maybe a little white maybe a little green i don't know we'll see we'll play maybe some orange who knows all right so i got these great media i saw these at joanne's too the deco art media misters uh in yellow green these are well loved and used because i love these white red and primary cyan um, I love these because they're permanent. I love them. I can never have enough of these. I love them and I try not to use them <laughs> horrible of me, but I try not to use them all the time because I don't want to lose them. Like I don't want to use them all up or I would walk around with all these colors on me because I love them. Okay. So I'm going to start with, let's start with our green, mm, shake it up. They also come in shimmers too. I'm just going to lightly spray. I'm not too worried about not getting the pattern. I mean, I'd like to have the pattern, but I'm more concerned. I just really want the color, you know, and I'm going to go in with some red, just spraying it there. A little bit of blue. Look, it's all fancy and shaking it. Shake it up. <laughs> okay. Some white just to throw over and do like that. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Get a piece of printer paper, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, another canvas, whatever you want, whatever you want. I'm just going to use a piece of uh, watercolor paper. I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to give it a push and push it real good, push it real good. And then I'm going to lift it up and look, I got a beginning of another paper and I got those textures and hello, sweet. And it's permanent. So it's not going to, not going to run. And then I'm going to lift this up and I can see the colors underneath there. Delicious. 
And I know I need something up here, so I'm going to do that and something down here, but I'm not worried about that right now. Now, of course, you can go and get another print of this. Um, you could turn it over on your paper and, you know, do your thing. A little bit more. Wait till that's dry on your other paper. But this dries very quickly on your stencils. And honestly, it doesn't bother me. All my stencils are dirty. I don't like to keep, um, I don't keep any uh, molding paste, modeling paste, anything that's pasty <laughs> that can cause a little bit of, uh, you know, irregular printing if you if so be it, you know. But paint and all, like I said, I always like to take paper and just kind of go over it and sop up that ink because it's so delish. All right. Let me do right here. Yeah, it's just so good. So good. So good. Okay. So now I have another one. And this is technically for glass, but I use it for regular stencils as well. Yeah, I'm just going to peel it off. And I'm just going to lay it like that. And I'm going to take white. What, what do I do with my white? Oh, white. I just had the white. Good gods, for real. What did I do with my white? I don't know where my white went. That's really a shame, Cal. All right, so we're going to uh, white fell. That's why. I'm like, where is it? I know I had it. Just going to spray a little bit of that, a little bit right there. Lift it up. Lay it there, backwards with the other side. And look, burr, 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 burr. we got some white there. And you can continue doing it over top of your other ones, just a little bit. Ugh. And then I spray over there, of course. Then I'll just lay it down. Wipe that off because I am a pig. Burr. Okay. And that's it. You see how that white just brings everything a little bit? It's just really good. It's really good, guys. Really good. Now what I'm going to do is take my heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, I should have this tattooed on my head. Use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, let this baby dry for five minutes and you will be good to go. And because these are permanent, it's delicious. It's delicious now. Delicious now. I make a mess when I paint, and I love it. I've done ATC classes and everything. I just love glitter and, and glue, and I love when people just go nuts, and they, you know, they really uh, enjoy it and put everything they got into it, because it, it, you know, seeing other people who might not art like I do, or other people, or we just kind of get into it because we love it, but to see other people start that, I love it. It's just so... Oh, it's just so good. So good. All right. Okay, so now I have that. And I want to put my... Probably going to put her on here soon. I think I'm going to stick her to this side. Or do I want her on this side? Over this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this because it's not going to be dry all the way. It's going to be partly dry, but not everything. And then I'm going to turn her over on a clean spot, which not really a lot of them here. And I'm just going to throw glue on her. I'm going to use the decoupage mat and my big brush. And I'm going in. And I'm throwing the glue on her. You want to use a glue stick? By all means. You know, Elmer's glue sticks are um, archival, which is good. I know a lot of people worry about that. I, I, you know, I don't worry too, too much about it, but I do use like Mod Podge or, you know, the Elmer's glue stick. I do know that is archival. Okay. Get those edges because you really want it to stick. And you can add a little bit of water to your glue too. You can use your white school glue, whatever you got. Just add a little bit of water to make it a little thinner. I got the outline of her on there. All right, I'm gonna lay this back down here and I'm gonna lay it down. I think I'm gonna do it on this side though. 
Where do I want to go? Five. Oh, I think I'll put it here. So indecisive. And then just push it down. Make sure you get her. So she's all on the canvas. And if you get any glue on her, it's fine. It dries clear. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to push it down. Now this is a thicker paper. It's watercolor. Obviously it's going to be a little thicker than your printer paper, you know, so you just want to kind of, for a few minutes, just really press it down so it can stick. I like to have, I don't have it right now, but I, what I like to have is a uh, clean paper towel or rag or, or a piece of fabric even that, you know, you use for here and lay it on here and then like really kind of push it, you know, push on here or put stuff on here that you might, um, you know, like a book or something. So it helps stick it down because you only have two hands, but. Yeah, okay. All right. So I can see she has a little dippage right there. Let's. Let's take our glue one more time while I have, since it has to dry anyway. And kind of stick it under there. Just hold it for a few seconds and then go on to the next that you want to glue it on to. Dry clear, so don't worry about it. Okay. Now, something you can do right now is you could put your matte medium all over it if you want to uh, give it a kind of a seal so you can move on. The nice thing with the Deco Art is they dry, they're permanent, no matter whether it's the sprays or the paints. So I really don't have to do that right now. Um, but if you want to, you definitely can. I've been asked that a few times. I don't think I've talked about that before, but yeah, you definitely can seal it now if you want, but you don't have to. It's not, it's not anything that's going to, you know, but if you're using watercolor and you want to seal it real fast, of course, seal it, you know, or pan pastels or whatever, whatever you have. Okay. So close my glue. up. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of dust it off for a second. I give that a chance to dry. Oh, you're going to hear chainsaws and everything now. Again, it got real quiet and I thought, oh, I can get a video in, but obviously not. Okay. So I'm just kind of pushing it down. Push it, push it real good. Oh my gosh, for real. I am so sorry, guys, if you can hear that. It's very annoying. But it needs to be done, so what are you gonna do? Okay, so I have that. Now, what I really love about this is for me, I love red lips. I mean, I love that dark, but I really like the way this color is the, um, what color is it? You know, the brown I use all the time. Where the heck is it? Did I put it away? Oh boy. I don't know, here it is. It's called uh, Bambi Brown, but it's just a very light brown. I love using it for shading and all, but I really like the lips. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I might not do red on there. I might just leave her kind of, uh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to lose my train of thought because of the chainsaw. All right. So now what I want to do is. I'm going to use 3D opaque gloss enamel, and it is a uh, glass writer. You can use it to paint on cups and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is add some, I'm going to take the, this off first. I'm going to add some, um, some of this for the, all right. Come on now, boy. Open up.
This is always, oh my God. <laughs> That's all we've been hearing for weeks and weeks. It's a chainsaw. Okay. And because the people, you know, who do the trees and all that kind of stuff and the, um, I mean, you know, they can't get to everybody in one day, so it just takes a while, but it's everywhere. All right. So what I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do first? I think I'm going to, did I grab, I must not have grabbed black. I was going to throw another coat of black on her hair, but I think I'm going to use this and do, I just square roll it out. Okay. Let's see what that's like. And what I'm going to do is just trace her hair. See how that looks? I'm gonna do this side. Oh God. I'm so sorry guys. Sometimes that's why I speed up my videos and put music to it because things like this happen and I feel bad you guys gotta listen to that. But there's nothing I can do. Alright, I'm just gonna kinda a little thinner. Give her some texture in her hair. And you can use your brush and flatten it if you want a little bit, but it just gives it some dimension and I'm, I'm liking that. I gotta go around this outside though. Okay, just like that. And that is gonna dry. So while that dries, I'm going to let her be because of, um, I really like this background. I don't know if I want to like even it out, so to say, I think I'm just going to do a, a cool, uh, like do a stamp or something on it. I don't know. I'm really digging it. Like the more I keep looking at it, I'm like, nah, I like it. I need to get purple for this though. Let me see if I have purple. Probably not. Um, why wouldn't I have picked up purple? I don't know. I got some purple. Okay. Oh, all right. See, every time I get quiet, that stops. All right, so I'm gonna do purple the same as I did black. This is an opaque glass writer from Americana, and it is lavender. So let me open this bad boy up. And you can use this on glass, too. So it's very uh, cost effective, I guess is the word I want to say. I don't know. You know, but you're getting bang for your buck because you can do several things. You can write on glass. You can write on your, use it on your canvases, you know, your polymer clay. Once it's baked. Alright, so now I've got the purple open. I'm gonna wipe my hand off so I don't get to that in there. I'm gonna experiment because I'm gonna write this write with this on uh, my craft sheet tonight, like make designs and leave them dry and see if I can peel them up because that would be great to use in your art as well. So that's gonna be a little experiment for tomorrow. But with this, I'm gonna go around the edges. And it doesn't have to be spot on. It's art. We're having fun. And then I'm gonna kind of do that. And then I'm gonna do her hat as well. But I'm gonna turn it towards me because I'll put my arm in all of that deliciousness that I just did. Because that is what I do. It just has great dimension. there. I might even put some, I might put some dots for some texture. Let's see 
how that works out. Just a little bit, and maybe a little bit here. Just to see how that dries. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to make you guys sit here for too much longer listening to that. This is all I'm going to do right now because I got the chainsaw in my ear. But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. I didn't get to do the, I want to do some, you know, a little bit around her eyes or something and all that, but I got to let that dry anyway. So this is the next part. Glued her on, did that with these wonderful uh, Deco Art and Americana products. So I don't know if I'm going to get another chance to come on here to finish it or I'm going to finish this later. I don't know. We shall see, but I'm pretty happy with her. I'm not hating on her. I'm going to give her some, a little bit of something, something in here. And, um, this is just her collar. It's not her, uh, chest area, I guess is what I want to say. I kind of want these to be like a little flatter. Cause maybe I'll put some jewels in here. Like put some rhinestones. Let me see here. Um, where's my rhinestones? Where's my rhinestones? Then I'll do stars. Let's see. I'm gonna do some of these little gold stars, even though I like silver, but I, I'm almost out of them and I don't no, so I'm just going to lay these in here with the purple. I know I got me some tweezers somewhere. <laughs> I know I do. I know I do. But can you find them, Kelly? That's the question. No. If you guys do this, I would love to see what you guys do. As always, just send it to me. Tag me on Facebook, on Google, on Instagram. I'm usually knitting and things everywhere, so you can find me. I also have a contest going on. A giveaway, rather, not a contest. A giveaway that you guys can enter. I'll put the link down below. It's at knittingandthings.com. Yeah, definitely need my tweezers for this because they're not going in like a lot. One more. My poor husband's working. <laughs> He's going to be uh, lucky he gets anything done with all this noise out there. I mean, I complain, but I'm just make I'm just playing, doing art. Okay, I'm just gonna add some of those, those there. I probably shouldn't have put that purple on there though. Now that I'm looking at it, let's see if I can take some of that off with a dry brush. Like off of here. It's gonna still be on there, but maybe not as bad. Yeah, see, that's not good. I don't want that covered. Okay, that's a little better. Not exactly what I wanted, but a little bit better. Sometimes you just kind of got to go with the flow. Now I'm thinking I might add some stars in there. Maybe it'll stay. Let's see if I can get another one out. 
I'm just thinking. Just for a little glitter, not even, you know, I mean, I, I'm going to put glitter on her, but maybe just for just a little something. Because doesn't everybody need a little something? All right. Okay. Okay. So with that done, oh, I might need some in her hat. Wait. Wait a second. The OCD train. Stick three there and kind of push them. On to things. And I'll just put a couple and put one over here. Just so they're kind of strewed about, you know what I mean? Because I will probably put glitter after everything's dry, but I think this will be good. Okay. Now I shall leave her alone and dry so I can go on and kind of fix her up, finish her up a little bit. She will be for sale when I'm done, so I will show you guys. Once I'm done with her, but uh, yeah, I got a little, a few more things I want to do, but I really want to let that hair dry and that uh, other stuff dry just so uh, I don't mess it up because I like it. Can you see that? How nice. I'm liking her. Got to find a nice quote. So that'll be fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I just love you guys so very much. You guys are so good to me and so nice and so loving and just so delicious. And I just can't stand it. I just love you guys so much. Don't forget to go check out my giveaway. I got many, many coming up. Uh, so keep your eye out on those. And I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I will see you guys in the next video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.